I'm Ty Moser and this is the Mono Local Workshop. Today I'm going to show you the method that I use to get a nice smooth and durable finish on a surface. I start off by mixing together mineral spirits and polyurethane. I go with about a two part mineral spirits to a one part polyurethane mix. Uh, every now and then I'll mix it up and go about half and half equal parts. Uh, the reason I do this is primarily because, uh, I mean one, when you're rubbing on the finish, the mineral spirits really kind of just helps lube it up, helps wipe it on a little bit better, and also it evaporates faster. It means that you can do more coats faster. Uh, one of the things that it does as well is it means that you have to put on more coats because you're essentially thinning out the, uh, the clear coat, I mean quite a bit. So. You'll want to shake up the polyurethane pretty good before you pour it in. Some of the reasons that you might want to mix up your uh, mixture a little bit is if you need to build up a finish faster. Like if you have a porous wood and you need to get a nice hard coat first before you really smooth it. Uh, maybe you want to go with a 50-50 blend and then, I mean, because you're going to be sanding it afterwards to smooth it out anyways. So sometimes I'll go with a 50-50 blend at the beginning and then kind of thin it out a little bit more to a two-part mineral spirit, one-part polyurethane kind of towards the end. You want to put the lid on that and mix it up pretty good. I like to use water bottles to mix this stuff in. Uh, if you have one laying around, I really like to use the ones with the little sport, the little pop cap where you can kind of squirt it out. Unfortunately, I didn't have one of those today, so that, that's what I got. I also like to do a little wet sanding with the polyurethane. And when I do this, usually I will start off with maybe a two or 300 grit and then uh, go to a four or a 600 to finish it off. In this demonstration, I have already actually put five coats of finish on this, and this is gonna be my sixth. I might do one more. This is probably gonna be my last one though. And to do this, I'm gonna be using 600 grit sandpaper and doing a wet sand with the mineral spirit polyurethane blend. You'll wanna make sure that your surface is free of any kind of dust or really just anything that's gonna leave some imperfections in the finish. You can do that either by using a tack cloth or maybe even just taking the cloth that you're gonna be using and then dousing it with mineral spirits, wiping it off and then turning it inside out. I like to use just old white t-shirts. I have enough of them laying around and it's one good way to kind of recycle my t-shirts and make sure that I get some new ones mixed in there every now and then. You wanna start off by putting a liberal amount of clear coat on the surface, but not so much that it's dripping off the edges. Just enough to where the whole entire thing looks nice and wet. If there are some puddles of the clear coat, that's okay, but I mean that's going to mean that you're going to be sitting here a little bit longer. Now that my surface is thoroughly covered in my mixture, I'm just going to briefly give everything a nice quick sand. I'll kind of go in a circular motion over the whole thing and then uh, before I'm done sanding, I will go with the grain over the whole entire thing. You want to really just kind of listen to the sanding and feel it. Uh, you'll, you'll hear the differences, you're, you'll hear where you need to sand it a little bit more and you'll just hear where it's not smooth yet. So just listen and pay attention to what you're doing. If you run into a spot that's a little dry, just wipe it down a little bit and then sand it. Now that you finish sanding with the grain, you want to go back with your rag and just kind of rub everything down and just kind of buff it to a nice finish. I'll usually go all the way around in circular motions, maybe twice again, and then I will end with the rag going with the grain long ways. If you didn't put it on too thick, then I mean this is going to be about enough. If you put it on really thick, you're going to be sitting here buffing it for a while until it dries out. That's one of the benefits of going with a thinner mixture, going with a two-part mineral spirit, one-part poly, is it'll dry faster. And then instead of waiting the full three hours for your polyurethane to dry so you can put on another coat, you might be able to do it in an hour.
and you'll pretty much buff this thing until it's dry. And you, you can stop when it's still wet, especially when it's on some of your earlier coats because you're going to come back and sand it on the next one. On your last coat, you're going to pretty much want to keep going until there's no more. I mean, until it's nice and dry and you're going to end up with a beautiful soft finish. And this table is all rustic. There's dents and dings and scrapes. There's saw blade marks on it all over the place. And when the owner of this thing goes to dust it, they're not going to have any problems with their dusting cloth catching on things because it's just going to be so smooth. So they get the beautiful rusticness of it, but they don't get the really rough texture. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope that you found this information useful and maybe you'll use it in a future project. Um, I know that this type of content is probably going to be somewhat controversial because there is a billion different ways to apply finish. And I mean, me personally, I do a lot of different finishes, different types and different methods. This is just the one that I have been using for years to really just do countertops, tabletops and surfaces that need to be extra smooth. Um, I use a lot of spray on finishes for other things too. So this is just my method of doing this. So if you want to comment down below and let me know what your method is, that's awesome. I love to read other people's methods. If you use this in a future project, let me know, send me a picture. That's awesome. So thanks for watching. And if you want to avoid your spouse's or client's jettatura, you should probably give them a smooth finish, something that's not going to give them a splinter or at least catch their rag as they're going to dust it off. So. Thanks for watching. Also, as a safety thing, you should be using a respirator. I've got two respirators sitting over there, and when I'm not on the camera, absolutely, I'm using those respirators. I can't really talk through it. I don't want to sound like Bane or Darth Vader, so sorry. Don't hate me.